it's Jen and Lindsay for another semi-pro stenciling project. Um, we are jumping on today because we want to do a fun project with you guys today with a couple of our newer stencils from CD Stencils. Um, we are going to be using our Floral Bunny stencil. It's one of our brand new stencils. It hasn't been out very long, maybe a couple of weeks. Um, Easter's right around the corner, so we thought it would be the perfect project to do. And then I'm bringing in an oldie but a goodie stencil, which is our Easter word stencil, um, just to add something else to the piece. So thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, I'm Jen, and I have Lindsay here with me, and we are semi-pro painters. And by that, we mean we are kind of basically learning how to paint. <laughs> So um, we are happy if you're joining us. If not, you can always catch the replay. Thank you. If you're here, let us know where you're from. We're excited. We always get excited when people join us and watch us. Um, we're learning a lot with our stenciling and our painting. And so it's always fun to have some interaction with you guys while we're doing it. Um, we are going to get started here. So I'm going to flip my camera. I'm using all decor paints today. Um, for the interest of time, I went ahead and base coated my, um, surface and this is our rounded arched, or I'm sorry, our rounded tavern sign. Um, it is awesome. I love this piece. It's really pretty. And this floral bunny is the stencil that we're going to be stenciling. It's brand new. It's only been out for maybe a couple of weeks. So this is the fun floral bunny piece. Um, I base coated my um, surface with Shoreline from DecoArt, so they're acrylic paint. Love this color. We thought spring should be bright and cheery. Um, I am going to use Lamp Black for my bunny, so we're going to see how that turns out. So I already have that shaken up and put on my palette over here. Again, you guys know, semi-pro, I use a party plate. Um, I, I just think it's easier for me to use that. Um, instead of palette paper. And then also I'm using Chris's spectacular stencil brush on this one. I have the number five stencil brush for this one. Um, I love this one because I'm doing a big area, but there's also some like kind of intricate parts in here. So this is going to be good. I'm going to be able to cover a big area quickly with this brush because how large it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap um, some paint, load up my brush here, tap in, rub off on my paint a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a paper towel. I just have a paper towel here and rub off my excess. So if you're new to stenciling, you wanna make sure you don't have too much um, paint on your brush when you go to stenciling, um, because that's when you end up getting your bleeding and we don't want that. We want nice crisp edges. Um, this, because of the ears being so big, it's kind of flipping up just a little bit. Instead of putting that down for, for time's sake, I'm just gonna hold it. Um, and then I'm just gonna start pouncing my paint on. I'm gonna go around his ears first since I'm holding this piece down. I really like this brush. You can get a lot of coverage with our number five stencil brush. Chris's stencil brushes are awesome. If you don't already have the spectacular stencil brushes, I would suggest grabbing them. We have them in a set. We have four sizes. There's a number six, a number five, a number four, and a number three stencil brush. This is the number five size. The number six is pretty large. I actually could have probably used it on this one. It might have made it go a little bit faster. Um, but I don't have one currently in my brush set. So I just went ahead with what I have. I am like a true believer in like use what you have kind of person. Uh, I don't like to have a bunch of supplies laying around because then I just feel like I get confused. I'm not sure exactly what I want to use. So I know where you could get one of those. I know where I could get one too, Lindsay. I should probably grab one out um, and put it in my, my little cup over here. I have my brushes in a mason jar on the table. Um, I'd carry them back and forth from here and then over into the other building where we work because sometimes I paint when I'm at my desk finishing up pieces that we just need samples of. Lindsay and I paint like the door hangers um, and we're starting to do a little bit more. We've, I've been painting the etched plaques lately. Um, I really love painting those. It makes it a little simple. I don't feel like I stress too much on it because I don't have to be perfect because the lines are etched for me. I don't have to feel like I'm making up my own stuff. <laughs> Do we have anybody on, Lindsay? Yeah, we have Janice from Indiana. Hi, Janice. Thank you for joining me. Are you a stenciler? Let us know. We want to know. So we're. I'm just going to keep going here, filling my bunny here. I think this is going to be classic, like that silhouette style bunny kind of like that silhouette door hanger that we have with the bunny and the egg um i think we've shown that a couple of times it's such like black is always so classic and it goes with everybody's stuff i love that 
Again, we've talked about this before. I am not, like, I don't clean my stencils. Lindsay doesn't clean her stencils. Um, I think the dirtier the stencils are, the better they pick up the paint, honestly. I know some people are probably cringing at me for saying that, That's but a semi -pro tip. it is a semi pro tip. You're going to get better stenciling if you have dirty stencils. <laughs> That's how we do it, isn't it, Lindsay? Janice is a stenciler. Oh, awesome, Janice. I love it. Thank you for joining us today on semi pro painting. We're super excited. And it should be uh, noted that these stencils are available both on the Cover District Absolutely. website and also our CD Stencil website. Yes. Um, on the CD Stencil website, if you sign up for the newsletter, you get a 20% off coupon. 20% off, guys. 20% off. I love a good sale, right? And there's almost a thousand stencils in the CD Stencil line. We're getting really close to a thousand. Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret right now because I'm pretty sure, isn't this one on sale on Cover Distributing though, right now? Because it's Easter. I think this one might be in the Easter sale. I'm pretty sure it is. So if you if you don't want to shop on CD stencils, which we highly encourage you to do because I'm telling you guys, that is it's so easy to shop on that website because it's stencils and brushes. Like and that's it. That's it. And not even all the brushes. Not e no, not yeah. even all the brushes are on there. Um, but like the stencil brushes, the stencils, like the main stenciling st things are on that one. That's what that website is for. Cover Distributing is going to have everything that we have that we're using here today. It's going to have the surface, so it's going to have this rounded tavern sign that I'm painting on. Oh, and by the way, I was going to point this out before we started, and I completely forgot. But if you check the size of this stencil, if you look, this is a 12-inch rounded tavern sign. Look at this. Like, this is so easy to line up because it fits right in the center of these dots, or like the little hanging holes. So I thought that was perfect. Um but yeah, CD Stencils has all of our stencils on it. We have tons and tons of stencils, everything that you could imagine. We are constantly growing our stencil line. Lindsay has been looking for new, exciting stencils. We should like trying to get more of different um, themes that we currently already have on our um, CD Stencil site. So that's really fun. And then we're also like getting into like, Lindsay and I are big fans of like <laughs> funny, snarky, we're going to call yeah. them stencils. Like we have one that says farm fresh butt nuggets for eggs. And we just think that's hilarious. And we love stuff like that. And I'm telling you, I know our customers do as well because I've pulled that stencil multiple times this week. Um, and it's new. Like that has not been out long at all. Not, yeah, less than a month. And I have definitely pulled that one multiple times. So I know you guys are liking them too. So there's like everything that you could imagine. We have home decor. We have um, every season, every holiday. Um, I I really think we have every, every holiday, don't we, Lindsay? I think we even have like something for Hanukkah, don't we? Like oh, not we there's Hanukkah yet. We just got Mardi Gras. Yeah, we got Mardi Gras. Um, We're working on, we will have New Year's stencils yes. this year. Yes, I mean, like, we really expanding. Get, we're trying. Yeah, um, for Jen, sure. Jenna says you're a fast talker. I am. I hear that a lot. I'm sorry. I, I've gotten, She's excited. I do get super, like, okay, I, again, I'm not really a painter. I consider myself more like a general crafter. Like, I enjoy painting. I enjoy stencil. I'm going to try and slow down my talking a little bit. Should we tell them what we really are? What? Yes, you can tell them. Yeah, we're scrapbookers. We are. We are. That's what we started. That's how we both got here. Yeah, we this so cover distributing is also the parent company to CD stencils. And when I first how I first actually started working here is a funny story. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys, it's a funny story. So we they used to also have a scrapbooking store, it's called the scrapbook outlet. And I used to come out here and shop, and Lindsay worked here, and I was in here one day. And I was buying some paper and I had some cardstock and she was ringing me up at the register. I didn't even know Lindsay. I wasn't even looking for a job, guys. This is how this happened. So I was a stay at home mom for our two boys who are now adults. Um, that's a long time. That's a long time. They're, they're, they're adults now. Yeah. I was a stay at home mom with my two boys. I mean, they were in elementary school, but. So I was in here and she was ringing me up and she was like, you match cardstock really well. You should work here. And I was like, are you hiring? And she said, yeah. So that's how I ended up applying for the job and got the job here. And she even retired once and came back. I did. I retired for a few years because we were building our house. And we while we were building, we were renting outside of the school district. And I had to drive my kids back and forth to school. So I retired for a little bit. And then I came back. 
Um, because, well, I used to, I would always go to the shows and help our local hoot show. Um, so I would go there and help do the shows. And I was there one year for the, the convention and Papa John said to me, oh, by the way, Papa John, and I say mom and dad, they are not our actual parents, but we're like a big family here. And I started calling them mom and dad not long after I started working here. I started calling him Papa John first, and then it went to dad. And then I just started calling Chris mom and everybody else pretty much calls him mom and dad now well, too. With, with Papa John, it's easier for me because there's a lot of Johns in my life. Yes, I'm for sure. John. We have two Uncle Johns. My father-in-law's John. And yeah. It gets really confusing. All it's a lot of Johns. A lot of Johns. So it's easy. Like when we're talking, we always say Papa John when we're talking about them. Um, or we call him, I call him mom and dad. My John. Your John. Yeah. And I say your John when I'm talking yeah. to Lindsay about her husband. Yeah. Like we're just randomly talking about stuff. But Janice says that she likes fall, Halloween, Christmas are the seasons that she likes. And oh. she's also been painting 30 plus years and she just started incorporating stencils. Really? Okay. So you didn't do stenciling before, just like recently. I love it. I know. So the normal like old school painters that have been painting for as long as you, Janice. I know that for a while stencils were kind of like taboo, like cheating or whatever. Um, I've heard that from Chris we and we hear it a lot yeah. from some of our original customers, like people that have been with us for years. Um, and like they were saying that like, you were cheating and stuff. And I think, you know, the mentality of that to me is like, why work harder if there's a stencil that can help you get something done and like really bring it to the next level. Why not use that tool? Like they're there for us to use, right? So I always think it's a great idea to use Special, stencils. Especially words. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to hand paint lettering? Like not this girl. I mean, first of all, I would never, if I can't put a stencil on it, so I'm going to have something on it. But yeah, I, that's kind of my thing, but I love all of those holidays too. I think there's a lot of really fun stuff out there. So anyways, yeah, that's how I started working here. And I've been told a million times that I talk fast. Um, not only do I talk fast, I'm like nonstop all the time. From the moment she wakes so, up yeah. until the moment her head hits the pillow. It, and, but when I'm done, I'm done. Like I crash. I crash. But yeah, I'm go, go, go. I was telling Lindsay this morning, I went home last night and was cooking dinner for my husband and my our boys and... I say they're adults, but one's in college, getting ready to graduate college. And our other one is 20. He just got home from the they're military. Adults. They're adults, but like they still live at home. And I felt bad by saying, <laughs> went home and they're, they're adults, but I'm still cooking for them. Um, but yeah, they're adults. And I was cooking for them. And while I'm cooking for them, I was like, oh, I should probably clean my um, kitchen. So I started washing my canisters and finally crashed about nine o'clock. They came home from golfing, went to bed, and I was out. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. Just making sure I got all of the little spots. We better get a little and bit more. Right there. Thing is, is if, she, if you did, you always lay it back on. Oh yeah, that's the great thing about stencils because the way ours are made, like this clear, like milky um, mylar here, it's great because if you've missed something, like you pull it up and you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I got all that. Maybe I need another coat here or there. It's nice because you can like line it right back up and go right back over it. I'm just going to hit a few of these spots that look a little white or a little bit light. Um, I, I tell you guys this every time I do a stenciling project, I am not super picky about like full coverage. Um, it, I think like it just looks distressed and I don't hate that. And I, some people that bothers them does not bother me. So I just want to make sure I don't see blue sticking out. If it's a little marbled, that doesn't bother me. I'm not super picky and like a perfectionist when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, if that bothers you, just give it another look, like another layer or whatnot, like hit it with a brush in certain spots. There's a little bit of blue showing here. Okay. So I'm going to try my best to slow down my talking guys. I know it's fast. Janice says it's not so much the artist, but people who buy think it's cheating and frown upon it. They feel artist is not a true artist. Well, I think she's referring to the stencil. Yes, I think you're right, Janice. I think you're exactly right. Um, I agree with you a hundred percent. I think there's no I think there's no wrong way to to do it. If you're if you're creating and, and making something fun, are you ready for the reveal? What Lindsay? No. Oh, okay. Fingers crossed. She's got her fingers crossed over there because we were like, I don't know if this is gonna work out or not. Okay, so you ready for my reveal? Oh, oh my look gosh! At that. Isn't it always fun when you pull off the stencil and you see the reveal and you're like, oh my gosh, it actually worked out. 
I love it. Okay, so I'm again not that gonna. Sweet. Not it does look really pretty, doesn't yeah. it? Not gonna clean this. I'm just gonna throw it over at Lindsay, and she's gonna <laughs> handle that. <laughs> All right, and, and then literally I literally that. just threw it at her. Okay. Oh, I better hit this with some um the heat gun real quick and just yeah just make sure because i did go over a couple pieces so this is our ranger um heated craft tool this thing is awesome it dries your paint in no time because i'm telling you what this thing is hot 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 um it won't like it's not going to burn you of course but you won't want to leave it in a spot for too long it's just a quick little dry just to make sure that you're covered so if you don't already have that i highly suggest getting that terry brown said there's no way you're old enough to have grown kids i thought you were mid-20s oh i love you honey i love you i'm actually 44 i know I don't look young or old, but I definitely am. I've been around a lot. She doesn't act old. I do. I do, definitely yeah. do not I'm act just a little old. bit younger. Yeah. Yeah. She's so. just a smidge younger than me. Um, I think that this is really adorable and you wouldn't have to put anything else. Okay. Let's look at this. This is adorable. You would not have to put anything else on this. Right. Um, however, I'm one of those, like it needs something else. So I thought this Easter blessings title right here, like this like word here would be super cute. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put this and then I'm going to tape it down. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Does that look pretty good to you, Lindsay, on the camera? It's hard for me. Like I'm kind of leaning over the table. Yeah, I think that looks good. Thanks. She just turned the monitor for me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just put this here and then I'm going to do this Easter blessings. I'm going to stencil that and I think I'm going to use white on that for like a little don't, bit of don't, pop. Don't. I know. She's using white. Well, you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with it. Um, this one I'm going to use the Snow White from Deco Art. This one, we always have the eight-ounce bottle, Lindsay and I do, because, listen, let's just be honest. It takes a lot of white for me because I'm a semi-pro. And <laughs> I sometimes, sometimes just need a little bit more paint and a little bit more paint and a little bit more paint. Okay. So Deborah Finley says so cute. Brenda Sawyer said the bunny is so cute. Isn't he fun? I love that bunny. Sharon Bender says really cute little blue color. Thank you. That was actually um, Lindsay's idea, guys. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And she was like, do like a teal color or like a blue, bright, fun color. I'm like, okay, I like it. Let's do it. Jane Crossley said bunny crossing would be so cute. Uh oh. Oh. That would be cute. We, I don't, bunny trail. we have bunny trail, but not a bunny crossing. Bunny trail is a little too small. Yeah, I don't think bunny trail, bunny trail would be cute on here if it were bigger, but I think it's too small for the spot that I want to fill up because I feel like it would just get lost there. So I'm going to use the Easter Bell Essence, but I like the bunny trail idea, Lindsay. We should look for a, a stencil that says or that. Bunny crossings. Yeah, or bunny tra crossings. Yeah, that would be a cute one. one. We might. I don't know. Um, okay, this time I'm going to use Chris's number six. Uh, four spectacular stencil brush. Again, Chris's brushes are awesome. Do you see how nice and fun these are? Look, I already have paint on my hands. <laughs> Semi pro. And, and these brushes, her stencil brushes are great because they're not just for stencil. No, you can use them for base coating, shading. I actually use these when I'm doing, like, I was just painting a gingerbread. Um, piece earlier like an etched plaque and i use the number three stencil brush for the cheeks like to dry brush the cheeks um so yeah they're great for that kind of stuff you can't don't just have to use them for stenciling so they're like a very versatile brush the other thing that's really nice about chris's stencil brushes i think i tell you guys this every time because i think it's a really cool thing is that you can um wash these out like get water on them and then just go straight into another color like paper towel dry it or whatever and go into the next color and it will just definitely pick up that paint you're not going to get like all that moisture you know, like if you regular stencil brushes if you use them with their when they're wet sometimes you get like that runny paint you're not going to get that with these because of the type of bristles that they are um and how long that they are they're a longer length which gives you more bounce i think when you're stenciling don't you Lindsay? Mm -hmm. it's like a little bit longer of a or more of a bounce so you get like a softer stencil if that makes sense and these and these stencil brushes jen and i are both pouncer stencils. yes uh, if you are a swirler they work just they work perfectly fine um, if you're a swirler and i have swirled on some smaller things but I swirling stresses me out. I'm not going to lie. I have a better tendency of getting stuff under the stencil. I do I'm too. Because so. I feel like no matter how well you tape it down, I feel like it can still lift when you're swirling. But if you are a swirler, go for it. These are awesome for that as well. Uh, Janice says that she would paint the design, the flowers, etc. Oh, yeah. That would be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could totally paint. Like, do some fun stuff on there. Oh, I like it. 
Janice, if you get it and you, if you buy this stencil and you do that, will you please like share it with us? We love it when you guys like share your projects with us. Post them in our, um, we have a Facebook page and it's like, um, CD wood or CD crap. Is what is it? CD, CD wood door hangers yeah, and door hangers and more. Or you can either post it on the cover distributing or the CD stencils page. Yeah, just tag us in it, and we're you know we're gonna start. I I think we should start featuring some of these mm -hmm. things in like our newsletters, Lindsay. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? I do that, so I have the power, guys. She does have the power. I have the power to put your awesome pieces in our newsletter. So if you tag us, you know, and we see it. Now, granted, we're not going to see it all the time, but if you tag us, most of the time we're going to see it. Um, and like, we we're happy, happy to share your awesome projects and share your awesome work with others. And because I think we all draw inspiration from each other, right? And so, if there's somebody else that does something, I know when I'm getting ready to do a project, I was telling Lindsay yesterday. I even looked like I googled like bunny floral bunny stencil images and was just kind of looking like what colors did they use what can i use you know what does what does other people think looks well so that's always fun too terry brown says chris's stencil brushes are the best aren't they amazing i'm telling you guys they are absolutely amazing now i'm gonna have to do a couple of coats here on this white because i'm going over that blue which is not a big deal It'll go quick. Um, I am going to tell you, since I have you guys on here today, whoever's watching, if you are around tomorrow afternoon, around 1 o'clock, Lindsay and I are going to go live, and we are going to do an unboxing of our Christmas Unwrapped subscription box. Um, I think you guys prob probably have all heard about that by now, but if you have not, um, join us tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And if you're not signed up and you were thinking about it, but you weren't sure until you found out what was going to be in it, We've gotten a lot of questions like, do you have an example of what's going to be in it? Um, it's a secret. And we were kind of mean the last time. I know. We, we kind of teased. We, just we teased a little bit. But we are actually going to show it this Tomorrow time. It is going to be shown. Yeah, we're going to unwrap one and like just show you everything that's included. You'll get to see what pattern's included. Um, and all of those ornaments that are in the subscription box are exclusive to people who are members of our subscri subscription box. So if you wanted to buy more of the ornaments that are in there for that pattern, um, you can definitely do that. They won't be listed on our website though. So you'll have to call or email Lindsay at info at cdwood.com. That's her email address. She's info. Um, so she'll get all of those and then you, she can call you and you guys can place an order or you can do it through email or whatever. And she can send the invoice for the ornaments, but they'll, we can put them in for you, but you have to be a member of that club in order to and we do have a list. We do. It, yeah. It has to be checked. Yes. They are exclusive. They are. They are exclusive. So if your friend was like, you get it and I'll get the ornaments and paint them, you can't or they can't because they're not on the club. They don't get to do that. But I, you're going to want them. I'm telling you. They're themed. And so the first theme has been done for a little while, not like a ton, but like it was our first one. So we kind of jumped the gun on that one and got it done super early. I'm hoping we can keep the momentum up. Well, the second one's, I mean, they're done. It's, it's semi done. Just, yeah. Lindsay hasn't painted hers and Chris hasn't painted hers. Lindsay. Yeah. Lindsay. Yeah. Lindsay does a lot of like online work that I don't do. So she doesn't have quite as much like forgiving time. I'm going to call it not really free time because I always have stuff to do, but like, I can be like, oh, I can do that tomorrow. That doesn't have to be done today if I need to get something painted. But she cannot do that. So, But you're going to get in there. You're going to get five ornaments per box. And you're going to get four boxes a year. And then after that, you are going to get a paper pattern by created by Chris Hoy. All the It's going to have all five ornaments on it. Now, one of the ornaments we're considering like a bonus ornament. But it's it's cool. It's painted. It's, it's stencil. I mean, it's it's awesome. So you're also going to have that. Hold on one second. Let me see here what I got going on. Oh, my goodness. It really well. Oh, my goodness. We're worried about that. Are you ready, guys? This is amazing. Drum up, please. Okay. This is awesome. Look at this. Oh so my cute. gosh. I love it, Lindsay. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so this is so adorable. I love it. Um, okay, this is pretty much all I have planned for this. The only thing that I might do is take some like jute twine and hang it from the back here because I think that would be cute. We need to bring some of that over here, Lindsay, yeah. so we could finish some of these projects up because I have I feel like I have a bunch of these We're sitting around. Wild. Yeah, wild. down here, yeah. Um, where is the gel pen? Did she take her brushes? Oh, <gasps> 
She did. Chris thieved. She thieved him. Um, I was gonna take the white gel pen and do some little like, little detailing. I don't think I have any. Oh wait, okay. do you see it? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is my brushes, guys. This is why I walk. I carry this back and forth from in here to over there. Thank you, friends. Um, but yeah, so let me get this going here a little bit, and then I'm gonna just do a little bit of detailing on here, just to kind of make it not look so like solid. I mean, look how adorable, guys. And this is just a white uniball gel. Yes. I absolutely love this thing. I use it on every project that I do. I was painting a um, sample in the office of one of our etched plaques. And I use this on there too. I think just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just a little bit to kind of pull out some of those curves. I think it just adds a little bit. Since I'm not doing like, since this these projects that we do in here are kind of like basic like, um, just basic painting, like stenciling. If I were to paint this normally, I would probably do some shading on here, but we're trying to do like quick and easy, fast craft products that you are craft projects that you could do anywhere. So if you wanted to do something fun like this, this is super easy. You could pop these out in no time. So yeah. this is um, using our floral bunny stencil, which is this guy right here, which is absolutely adorable. And then I also use our Easter word stencil. And this has lots and lots of different um, words on there. It says happy trails up here. Let me scoop this over so we can see it. Happy trails up here. It's got a, like a little chocolate bunny, an egg, a chick that says peeps here, Easter blessings. There's a cute little bunny over here. Um, these would be fun too. I could see using these, like this little guy and this little guy, if you were doing like a Easter thing and you have like grass down at the bottom, Lindsay, and then have them like tucked into the grass, that would be fun. You could mask that off so that it looks like they're behind the grass. The happy Easter would have been cute on this piece as well. It would have also fit in that spot. Um, the, uh, egg hunt would have been cute and also hoppy spring, you know, hoppy bunny. I get it. I think it would be cute too. So these are very versatile stencils. If you wanted to create this project, everything you see here is available at cdwood.com. If you only want to grab, like, say you have pieces of wood at home and you don't need this piece, this particular piece here. Um, and you just wanted to like grab the stencil so you could recreate this at home. You can grab the, all of our stencils at cdstencil.com. Um, they're all available there. You can get all of them there. Um, the awesome thing about that is if you sign up for the newsletter, you're going to get a coupon that you can use for your first time. Um, of course, if you order from CD Wood and you get anything, then you can go ahead and get those. Um, if you've ordered from us before, there's always that coupon code done at the bottom if you spend $50 or more. Um, yeah, and there, yeah, there's one on the CD Central site as well. So if you've ordered from there, you'll have that. Um, I hope you guys liked my project today. It was a super fast one, guys. Um, I tried to cut it shorter this time. Last time I did like the base coating and stuff um, while we were in here, but I don't think you guys need to see that. You know how to base coat your painters. Um, so I went ahead and did that to make it a little faster. Uh, if you want, join me tomorrow for the unboxing of the subscription box. Lindsay and I will be here. We're going to show you everything that's included in that box. Um, Terry asked where do you sign up for the newsletter. If you go to the CD Stencil mm -hmm. website, www.cdstencils.com, Wait just a couple of seconds, there'll be a pop-up yeah. and it'll say save 20% or something. And you just type your email in there. Signs you up right there. Yeah, and it signs you up right there. Um, we send emails usually twice a week, no, no different than, I know Terry gets our cover distributing. Yes. Email. No different than the cover distributing yep. emails. Um, and we don't sell your information. No, no. Once I'm we the have only it. one that sees it. Yeah. Um, I don't even see it. I like they're already in the system when I get like if I send the newsletter from cover distributing, I don't even see your emails. I they're all like when Lindsay puts them in, they're all kind of hidden. I don't even see that. So um, I just click on the thing that's for the newsletters and I click that and it adds all of you and, to it. And we do sales on the yes, uh, every and they're most of the time they are different than the cover distributing. Yes, yes. Occasionally yes. we'll run the same sale at the yeah, same time. Yeah. But most of the time they are different than the um, cover distributing. Yeah, so sales. check those sites because it could be a little bit different i mean and one thing might not be on sale on one site but it could be on sale on the other so we always suggest checking both sites um so that's always a good thing too so if you have any other questions does anybody have any questions in you um, before we jump off janice says it needs a messy bow it does need a messy bow yeah i agree with you like over here like a small little like just the um the strips tied together i agree with you right here like put some hanging twine and then put that little messy bow there janice that's a great idea i like that Anything else? Okay, guys, if you're around tomorrow at one o'clock, we're going to do the unboxing. And I promise you this time we're not cheating. We're actually no, going to show you everything in the box. Um, if you haven't already signed up, go. If you want to get our subscription box, um, they're starting to ship out tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to tell you a fib. 
I'm going to tell you the truth. Some of them are shipping out today because we had a, a, a good amount of them. Yeah, and and we weren't sure we were going to get them all out tomorrow. So half are shipping today. So if you ordered your subscription box early, then yours was probably going out today. If you ordered it a little bit later, which is not a big deal, it will absolutely ship out tomorrow. Um, so they will all ship by tomorrow. If you have any questions about it, let us know. We're happy to answer those questions. Um, I am going to jump off of here, but we will be back tomorrow at one o'clock and then we'll be back. Are we doing another project next week, Lindsay? Sure. It doesn't matter to me. I'm happy to do it if you guys want. Hey, what do you guys want to see stenciled? I can stencil something. Tell me what you like. I am all about suggestions. I love it. I hate having to make a decision. Do another Easter one. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about that carrot that has the Easter down the oh, center. Yeah, that that would be a fun one on the frame board. Yeah. That would be cool too. Oh, we could do a snarky one. We could. We could farm do a snarky fresh one. Butt farm fresh butt nuggets. If you <laughs> <laughs> I know we're we're naughty. Okay, guys, have an amazing day. Thank you for joining me with semi-pro stenciling with Jen and Lindsay. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.